What is going on everybody, it is I, Zombie Killer, as you all know, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video of me playing uh, a new game I just got called Gone Home, and it's pretty much like a little love story. Um, I have yet to start it, this is just what it looks like on the uh, cover screen for Xbox One, so I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try, why the fuck not? I got a, a bird, I got a bird in the background right now, so just try to do the best you can to uh, peep that out but uh yeah let's let's start this it, this seems like a pretty good game so we're gonna we're gonna see what goes on here Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, oh. So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright. Well... Okay, June 7th, 1995, and it is 1.15 in the morning. 1.15, favorite time. Favorite, favorite time. Alright, so I'm home. Alright, sensitivity is really fucking low. Is there a way I can change that bullshit? Look, sensitivity, yes there is. Ah, oh, yeah, that is so much better, sort of. Okay, so here's my bags. Uh, my name is... Caitlin Greenbury Greenbury R, I guess. Uh, destination, I'm in Portland. Uh, my flight number was 270, and today is, I'm assuming, June 6, 1995. Okay. Um, Alright, let's open up the door here. Locked and locked. Okay, awesome. I'm not getting through. Alright, it says, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but... It is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Alright. Can I uh, go through this bullshit here? No? Really? Is there something else I can go through? Oh, that. Grab... A Christmas duck. Why do I need a Christmas duck? Can I fucking use that? Oh. Huh. Alright, so this is like one of those really examining games. That duck looks fucking weird as shit. Holy, wait, there's something on the bottom of it. What is that? $5.99. You spent $5.99 on that fucking thing? Now I know why. Alright, put back. Take the house key. Alright. I found the house key. Alright, LB to check the contents of your backpack. So I got my passport, my boarding pass, and my house key that I just picked up. Okay, okay. Alright, let's uh, shut the fucking doors. Alright, so I'm assuming this is my house. Read the invoice. Um... Alright, I don't... Whoa! So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay. Long jump event. Okay, so this person is clearly a an Olympic person. Alright. Do, do I got a flashlight somewhere or something? Fuck. That's a door. And apparently that's locked. Alright. Can I, like, run somehow? 
Really? I can't? That's fucking gay. Locked? Wow, unlocked. Alright, turn on the lights. Okay, welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. A positive attitude she did not check off. She checked off everything except for a positive attitude. Okay. Uh, please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 o'clock in the morning. See you soon. And again, welcome, Beth Valens, principal. Oh, my God. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Right. Uh, I'm assuming he has some sort of relation to, relation thing to me. Uh, what did I pick up before this postcard thing? Uh, Paris. Hi, mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many things, including <laughs> including something and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam. I, Arbor Hill, Boone County, USA. Weird. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Open door. Turn on the fucking lights. What have we got in here? Uh, name of insured applicant, electrical inspection form. Okay, I don't want to really go through any of that bullshit. Oh, just turned on the fan. Okie dokie. Grab a three ring binder. I'm assuming that has nothing to my interest in it. Nothing, nothing. Oh, hello. Alright. Okay, that, that's a lot. Alright. Back to basics, spring back into time to Dallas, 1963, again? Question mark? What if JFK wasn't JFK? <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Pioneer combination compact disc player. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD slash CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Alright, well, let's turn that off. Let's just keep going through, I guess, until we reach something different. No, this is a pretty big fucking house. I got a lot to fucking... I got a lot to fucking do. Examine book. Oh. You know that feeling where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Hi Terry, enclosed please find a Pioneer CLDD703 unit with remote and cables. We need half a page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you give us on the CLDD502, it's a com it's a combination player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as la laser discs, then they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise radio and toys link stuff for the high-end buyers. Looking forward to take you on it. Enjoy the unit, Dave. I am so fucking lost right now, Jesus Christ. Severe weather warning, okay, so now apparently it's fucking downpouring the fucking shit out of everything. <clears throat> uh, 9 p.m., something about the X-Files. I'm assuming that's relating to the TV. 
Hey, are you there, girl Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind. If you wave, you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you knew you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so that I thought I'd I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes, no, no, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho? If it does, or was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? You know, that's pretty fucked up. So, clearly, this person knows her. Um, wow. U.S. National Forest Emanuel. Okay, that's something about college. I'll just throw that on the floor, because why the fuck not? Okay, I swear to God, that's so not what the fuck I saw. Okay. Um. Dave Burebrick Quartet. Uh, put back. Don't know what the fuck that is. It's probably just a book. Play record. Got some fucking tunes. What is this? Soda can. Got that JD, I'm assuming. Hannah Ram. Irish whiskey. Never mind. All right. Well, I was... I was Close with the whiskey part, but. Right. That's that's uh, a funny sound. That's why I just kept doing it. Okay, now we got another door. And is there any lights in here? Yes, there is. Anything? The fuck is this? That's that's just a top. What the fuck? Why was I able to grab that bullshit? Alright, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna run up my mom and dad's electricity bill. So fuck that shit. And now we got another door. Alright. Locked. Okay. Well. Katie, please, whatever you find, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. The attic. Something about an attic. So there's gotta be a key. Hi, Lonnie. So, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too. So, hopefully, that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after 6. Samantha. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then, I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. I'm assuming... Okay. So, you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. All right. Um, that's just another deck of cards. I really wish there was some sort of like fucking. Something better than that. Okay, uh, caution, radiation, keep out. I'm assuming this would be my sister's room. Knowing the gay bullshit. Clothes. More clothes. I don't know where my sister has any of her lights. Nope, I'm just gonna keep that open. That's just a fucking cup. Uh, Pacific Institute of Art Emanation, Malias, August 19th, November 30th. That's not important. That doesn't seem important. What the fuck? Oh, that's a lip balm. That's a Groove magazine. What the fuck are you? You are Steggy the Turtle. No, Te Steggy the Dinosaur. You're Steggy the Dinosaur. Okay. I want to believe... Okay, what's in here? 
Oh, great, more rooms, okay. Not too far from a uh, bathroom. Grab toilet paper, toilet paper roll, cleansing powder, faucet, faucet, shit, okay. Got, got some hand soap. Towels. Guess this one's broken, yeah, I'm gonna assume it is. Hello. Oh, red, right hand, semi-permanent, hair color, non-tested on animals. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Okay, well, she, uh, clearly fucking just packed her shit and left. There was no really waiting. Yeah, she fucking just took up, uh, up, oh, underwear and a sock. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Um, da, 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 da. I think I was already in here. For floors on still lives. Fuck that shit. Okay. Um. Tissue box. And then mom, dad, and the two sisters. And the TV on. Okay, TV apparently don't fucking work. Alright. Well, thunderstorm's really hitting in now. <clears throat> okay. Samantha Greenberg, Ghost Hunting Journal. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall when I rounded the corner. No one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I was not wearing my glasses. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can spoil milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Lani says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as medium, disturbing messages, and convey it from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol promises, recording any signs of unworthy presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Blah, 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 bullshit. Slide door. Light. Nothing. Okay, now we got a little painting room going on. What were you painting? Uh, I don't fucking know what the fuck that bullshit is. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping six. Okay, that's just that bullshit. Put back, that's just a pen. Alright, I gotta examine that pretty fucking good. Um, bathroom, mom and dad's room, bathroom. Closet. Okay, so it's involving something of the... Whoa! Oh, sewing. Fucking motorcycles going past my house. Fucking loud. So, mom and dad's bedroom. 
Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Just spam the fucking button. Okay. Alright, that's that's not working. Alright. Band-Aids, shaving cream, toothbrush, all of which nothing can help me. Another bathroom. I need light. I'll just flush the toilet just in case. After the honeymoon. Uh, that's just another book. That's a fucking candle. Alright. So I have been inside, I'm assuming, every single room. But I have yet to find a fucking kitchen. <laughs> I have found every single room except for a kitchen. I, went, I walked inside every single bathroom imaginable, every single bedroom imaginable. But no kitchen. I guess this house just does not have a kitchen. Oh, fuck. That's... Oh, that's, that's gay. I guess I haven't been in this room. No, I was in this room. I just didn't see that. How, did, how the fuck did I miss that? Open drawer. Grab a cassette. Alright. Oh, that was the TV. Oh, no. There's the cassette. Where is it? There's the cassette player. I'm gonna... Okay, well... That did it. Okay. Another throw ring binder... Cords... Cassette... I know! Chin Li Moose, Fireball. Lightning Kick. Helicopter Kick. Air Stop. Okay, so I'm assuming those are cheat codes, right? Yeah, codes. Okay. Those are cheat codes. Pull string. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I'm not seeing how this is a love story. And I'm not seeing how this would pass as a horror game. So I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why is this blocking this? Am I able to move this? Temporary personal transfer. Okay, so she was transferred. Weekly planner. A comb. Okay, now I'm back downstairs. Okay, downstairs we go. That's a lamp. Door! This might be the kitchen. Nope, locked. God fuck. Alright, so I'm in, I'm missing something. I was already down that way though. A phone! Found the phone. Messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Get home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, 
really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, well, that was, um, well, that was something. All right, so right now I'm in the foyer. So... If I go this way... I'm still in the foyer. Okay, so... I don't want to go up the stairs. That's the front porch. So going this way would mean... Ah, fucking A. A spare key that was hidden under a Christmas duck. God damn it. What the... Does that mean, like, there's... A key or something that I'm missing? Holy bobble. Fucking bitch. I'm missing something. Don't know what, but I'm missing something. Nope, open. Left on grab tree ring. Uh, uh, well, that's, that's something else. That's something different. That's just a bunch of bullshit. Okay, open door. Front hall. 